The Maze Makers represent one of the greatest mysteries in the Game of Thrones universe, a very powerful ancient civilization that was destroyed by entities of the sea. The same that could be a threat to the future of Westeros. In this video, we will be analyzing one of the most interesting mysteries of this universe. And if you like everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome. To the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start this video, I invite you to follow us on the Oasis Geek, if you like everything related to the MCU and the Loki series. We'll be analyzing this universe and we'll be following Loki's second season closely. On the islands of Lorath, near the Shivering Sea, there is something really amazing. Giant mazes made of stone. These mazes are so complicated that you would easily get lost if you tried to explore them without a map. What's more interesting is that these mazes are very, very old. They are so old that nature has started to cover them. Some are almost completely hidden by plants and trees that have grown around them. It is as if the earth is trying to hide a great secret. But who created these labyrinths and why? In the book The World of Ice and Fire, we can read part of what these creators were. Part of the book says the following. Extensive constructions of bewildering complexity, made with carved stone ashlers. The works of the maze makers are distributed throughout the islands, and one has even been found in Essos, on the southern peninsula of Lorath infested with vegetation and deeply sunk into the ground. On Loracion, the second largest island of Lorath, there is a huge labyrinth that occupies more than three quarters of the island's surface and comprises four subway levels, where some passages descend almost 200 rods. The function of such labyrinths is still debated among scholars. Were they fortifications, temples, villas? Or did they serve some other unique function? We will never know since the maze makers have left no written testimonies. Their bones tell us that they were robust and larger than humans, but not as large as giants. It has been proposed the theory that the maze makers were born from a crossbreeding between human males and female giants. We do not know the reason for their disappearance, but according to the Loratus legends, they were destroyed by an enemy of the sea, which in some versions of the story are mermaids, and in others, seal men and walrus men. Now, let's analyze these texts in depth. The first thing we should talk about is the nature of the maze makers. According to this book, they are theorized to be hybrids between humans and giants. This idea is not a new one in this world, as it is believed that characters such as Hodor, Brian, or Duncan the Tall carry giant blood in their veins. It is even possible that these characters are somehow descendants of these maze makers. If you've been watching this channel, you may have already realized that the Game of Thrones universe is made up of cycles and that multiple civilizations have met their extinction in this world. There seems to be something preventing civilizations from progressing. If indeed the maze makers were half human and half giant, this could explain how they were able to create these giant mazes, as in the past, giants also helped in the creation of the ice wall. This leads us to think that multiple structures have been created in different ways to prevent the destruction of civilizations. In the north we have the ice wall, and in the Lorath Islands we have these great labyrinths. But the story does not end here, because in these few lines, we can find references to the most dangerous entities of this universe. I speak of the Deep Ones. It is said that before men came to Westeros, these lands were dominated by three species of creatures. The children of the forest, the giants, and a third species that disappeared without a trace. Some think that this third species was the Deep Ones. The Deep Ones are a mix between men and fish. They are deformed but have great power. It is rumored that in ancient times, sacrifices used to be made in honor of these creatures, and that they inspired the religion of the drowned god. When the first men arrived at the Iron Islands, 
they found an empty throne, which today is known as the Sea Stone Chair. Perhaps these half-fish, half-human creatures were responsible for the creation of this lost civilization, but it is not known what happened to them. Some theorize that they were returned to the sea, or created a civilization in the depths of the sea, and it is here that the story connects with the Maze Makers. The part of the book that says, according to the Larathis legends, they were destroyed by an enemy of the sea, which in some versions of the story are mermaids, and in others, seal men and walrus men. The fact that it specifically mentions seal men or walrus men. This hypothesis leads me to think that these aquatic entities could be currently residing in the ocean depths. For reasons as yet unknown, they maintained an enmity with the maze makers. It is plausible that the labyrinths were erected as a form of protection, designed to safeguard those on the other side of their walls. However, these labyrinths failed to fulfill their purpose of preserving civilization, for as the text points out, they were eventually destroyed. If you've watched more videos about the Deep Ones on this channel, you may have noticed a recurring pattern. In some narratives, the drowned god emerges from the deep sea to offer his help to mortals. In others, there is talk of submerged civilizations, reminiscent of the mythical Atlantis, and labyrinths built to stop the advance of these sea creatures. Diving into a deeper analysis, as we have already discussed, we realize that the White Walkers are merely a secondary aspect in this vast universe. The Deep Ones may in fact be the real threat looming over Westeros. According to the legend of the Grey King, after defeating the Sea Dragon Naga and establishing himself as the greatest monarch the Iron Islands have ever known, he is said to have gone deep into the sea, to the domain of the Drowned God. It is highly probable that in this realm resides the race of the Deep Ones, who could be the arbiters who decide when an emerging civilization represents a threat that must be eradicated. Furthermore, I would not rule out the possibility that they are acting on the orders of an even more powerful entity. Some might argue that the Deep Ones are simply a nod to H.P. Lovecraft's work. However, when exploring the texts in detail, the references to this underwater kingdom and its inhabitants are so abundant that they transcend mere homage to become the true hidden antagonists of this saga. As I have pointed out on multiple occasions, it would be fascinating to delve into the history of what really happened on these islands. But now, I'd like to read your thoughts. Do you think the Maze Makers have any connection to the Deep Ones? And for more videos from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.